This video is designed to help guide you through the screens of the MEARC Revision 4.0 in order to set up your automatic generator start. Other revisions may show slightly different screens, but this video should get you through the basics of programming. Please note that this video is not meant to go over every possible scenario, but rather give you an idea of how to program your system for your particular setup. Please refer to your owner's manual for more in-depth information. Starting at the main screen of your MEARC, press Setup. 01 System Setup should be blinking. Turn the round select knob until 04 AGS Setup is blinking. Press Select. The first screen that pops up is 04A Gen Run VDC. This is the battery voltage that the AGS will start and stop on. Press Select to edit this setting. Turn the select knob to adjust your start volts. Make sure this voltage is higher than your low battery cutout set point under Inverter Setup. Press Select to save this setting. Turn the knob to adjust the start delay. This is the amount of time the batteries must be under the start voltage setting before the generator will start. This setting is adjustable from 0 seconds to 127 minutes. Press Select to save. Turn the Select knob to adjust your stop volts. This should be at or slightly below your absorb set point, or you can turn the knob and increase it to float, which will tell the AGS to continue running until the inverter switches into float mode. Press Select to save. Turn the knob to adjust the stop delay. This is the amount of time the batteries must be above the stop voltage setting before the generator will be turned off. This setting is adjustable from 0 seconds to 127 minutes. Press Select to save. Turn the knob to 04B Gen Run Time. This is a setting you would use if you know you want the generator to run at a particular time every day. By default, it is turned off. To set this, press Select. Turn the knob to On and press Select. Next, you'll turn the knob to adjust the hour of the day you want the generator to turn on. In our example, let's say we want the generator to run every day between 9 a.m. and noon. So we will turn the start gen hour to 9. Press select to save. Now turn the knob to adjust the minutes of the day you want the generator to turn on. Press select to save. Adjust this setting to tell the system if the time you just programmed is a.m. or p.m. Press select to save. Now that we've told the system when to turn the generator on every day, we need to tell it when to turn off. Turn the knob to set your stop gen hour. Remember in our example, we want the generator to stop at noon, so we will set ours to 12. Press select to save. Turn the knob to adjust the minutes of the day. Press select to save. Finally, adjust the setting to indicate AM or PM. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 04C Gen Run AC Amps. This is a setting you would use if you want the generator to come on because of a heavy load temporarily drawing down the system. This feature will only work if you are using an MSPAE, MSPE, or MSH series inverter. By default, it is turned off. To set this, press select. Turn the knob to adjust the start amps. This means if the inverter sees this amount of load demand, it will tell the generator to turn on. Press select to save. Turn the knob to adjust the start delay. This is the amount of time the inverter must be above the start amp setting before it will turn the generator on. Press select to save. Turn the knob to adjust the stop amps. This setting is how low the load demand must get before turning the generator off. Press select to save. Turn the knob to adjust the stop delay. This is the amount of time the inverter must be under the stop amp setting before it will turn the generator off. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 04D Gen Run SOC. This is a setting you would use to start the generator based on state of charge you must have the battery monitor kit installed in order for this setting to work. By default, this setting is turned off. Press select to enable the Gen Run SOC.
turn the knob to adjust the start SOC setting. This is the percentage the battery monitor kit must be under in order to turn the generator on. Press select to save. Turn the knob to adjust the stop SOC setting. This is the percentage the battery monitor kit must be above in order to turn the generator off. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 04E Gen Run Temp. This is a setting you would use to turn the generator on based on higher temps. For instance, right before an air conditioner is about to come on. By default, this setting is turned off. Press select to edit the Gen Run Temp. Turn the knob to adjust this setting. Press select to save your setting. Turn the knob to adjust your runtime. This is the amount of time the generator will run after it has been turned on based on high temperatures. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 04F max gen runtime. This is the maximum amount of time the generator will be allowed to run. Like the max charge time in charger setup, it is a safety net so that we will stop the system in the event a stop reason is never reached. It is recommended that this be a high number, preferably equal to your max charge time. Press select to edit this setting. Turn the knob to adjust. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 04G Gen Quiet Time. This setting is only if there are certain times of the day that you don't want the generator to turn on. For instance, in the middle of the night when everyone is trying to sleep. By default, it is turned off. Press select to edit this setting. Turn the knob to on and press select. Turn the knob to adjust the start quiet time. If we set it to 7 p.m., this means that starting at 7 p.m., the system will not tell the generator to turn on. Press select. Turn the knob to adjust the minutes of your start quiet time if you don't want quiet time to start exactly on the hour. Press select. Turn the knob to adjust the time between AM and PM. Press select to save. Next, we see set stop quiet time. If we set it to 10 AM, this means the system will allow the generator to turn on automatically again after 10 AM. Turn the knob to adjust the hour you want to stop quiet time. Press select. Turn the knob to adjust the minutes. Press select. Turn the knob to adjust the time between AM and PM. Press select to save. Quiet time top off charges the batteries prior to the start of quiet time in an attempt to prevent the inverter faulting due to a low battery condition. This setting determines how long the battery voltage is monitored before the start of quiet time. During this time period, if the battery voltage is within 0.3 volts of the Gen Run VDC set point, it will turn the generator on in order to top off the batteries. Likewise, if a BMK is installed, it will turn the generator on if the SOC gets within 4% of the start SOC setting. To adjust this setting, press the select knob. You can adjust this setting from off to 30, 60, 90, or 120 minutes. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 04H Gen Exercise. This setting automatically turns on the generator every so many days in the event your other settings don't turn it on. This is a good way to help maintain the generator. By default, it is turned off. Press the select knob to edit these settings. Turn the knob to adjust how many days you'd like to go between the generator running. Press select to save. Turn the knob to adjust the start time you'd like the generator to start at when it needs to exercise. Press select to save. Turn the knob to adjust how long you'd like the generator to run for when it needs to exercise. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 04I Gen Warmup. A warm-up and cool-down period is generally recommended for generators. By default, these settings are one minute each. Press select to edit these settings. Turn the knob to adjust the amount of seconds you'd like the generator to warm up for before the inverter connects to it. Press select to save. Turn the knob to 04J, Gen Cooldown. Turn the knob to adjust the amount of seconds you'd like the generator to cool down for after the inverter disconnects from it. 
press select to save. Turn the knob to 04K Gen 100% SOC. This setting is meant to turn the generator on and fully charge up the batteries every so many days. By default, it is turned off. Press select to edit this setting. Turn the knob to adjust the amount of days you'd like to go between 100% charges. Press select to save. Turn the knob to adjust what time of the day you'd like the generator to come on at and start providing that 100% charge. Press select to save. Now that you've programmed the AGS settings, it's time to enable it. Press the control button. Turn the knob to 03 Gen Control. Press the select knob. Turn the knob to set the gen control to auto. This will enable the AGS and make the generator turn on automatically based on the settings we just went through. Press select to save. Now that you have successfully programmed your AGS, you can press meter to get back to the main screen.